Now here I'm standing with Werner Vogel, who is the CTO of Amazon, right? Yes. And he wants to explain me in one sentence or maybe two sentences what cloud computing is. Well, cl cloud computing is that you can have all the resources that you want to. And resources could be storage, compute, networking, um, and it has an infinite amount of capacity living outside in the cloud, in the internet, for you to use on demand. The only thing you need is a credit card, you walk up to there, you can get as much of it as you want to. Okay, so that's cloud computing and is it some sort of a revolution for our yeah, new internet or what is uh, well, it's a, it's a real revolutionary uh, concept for those companies that really need to start up without having much investment up front. For example, many of the startups that we've seen here today are very young startups. They don't need to make massive uh, you know, capital investments to get going. They can just start using the services as they need to and then grow along as their user base grows. And so it enables a whole new range of business, things that could never be done before. Okay, so things that have never been done before, it's maybe also your job position, maybe you could call it something like that. Tell me something about your background, how did you came to the position you have nowadays? Okay, so I'm a former research scientist at one of the top universities in the US, so my specialism was to build really, really, really large scale systems. And, uh, uh, Amazon is obviously in the same business because to support our retail business we needed to build really large systems um, and the history is of most of those cloud computing services is that we first needed to build them for ourselves yeah. and after we built them we started looking at whether there's other people actually that could use the same kind of services and it turns out there's a lot of demand for it and so we're very happy to help these other businesses grow um, actually one, one particular business well, one particular area that, that, I'm, uh, that I'm recently looking at is the area of media companies. Um, and take Mogulus, which is run by, uh, by, one of, uh, uh, by Max Hort, one of uh, the German entrepreneurs, who runs 20,000 live TV channels just out of the cloud. He has no servers whatsoever. He only has his own laptop. But he has the most wonderful TV uh, environment for everybody to use, completely powered by Amazon EC2. Sounds great. Uh, I heard that you also engage yourself as a yeah, business angel. As a what? A business, business angel? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I promote all sorts of businesses. No, I love the businesses that run on Amazon EC2. And so uh, I, we always try to be very positive about them. Okay. Um, I heard that you don't like to talk about the future, so let's talk about the past. What do you think have been the three most important steps we have taken to arrive at that point uh, concerning or related to the technology, to the programming background we have now? Okay, so I think one of the most important steps was to where companies that were, were formerly closed walls, that were really doing their own thing and had built really large big walls around them, now have changed and made their systems become open and programmable. You know, like Amazon, you know, we started off with opening up our e-commerce services, then we started opening up our platform for our enterprise customers, and now we're opening up our platform for our developer customers. And so all of these means that a company no longer remains enclosed in what they do, but they allow other people to innovate on top of their own platform. And I think that has been a major revolution. Okay, so that was one. And with two others? <laughs> two others, two others. I think the use of the web as a, as a communication me me mechanism is definitely uh, has allowed us to actually make these uh, platforms available. And, um, and if you want the third one, um, I think most of the social aspects, um, and especially Amazon.com as a retailer still uh, benefits from that very well. It's where customers can actually add value to, 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 to businesses. Um, the whole review system on Amazon.com um, allows us or allows the customer to make way more informed decisions about the products that they want to buy that otherwise wouldn't have been possible. Okay. Um, one hint for startups out there. Oh, uh, it only takes a credit card. <laughs> okay, thank you.